Okay, I have a most unusual snowmobile. About 200 built, maybe a bit more. This is a machine that was designed by Edgar Hetty. You understand uh, his significance uh, in both Polaris and, of course, Arctic. Yeah. The era is 1974 ish. Gas crisis. And what are we going to do? Snowmobile manufacturers are dropping off the face of the earth. Um, Edgar is, is, gets, gets the idea over dinner and starts planning, starts, starts, uh, starts engineering a little snowmobile that would be agile, very importantly, very high miles per gallon, would be comfortable. It's not a racer, but it will certainly get you down the trails. So let's conceptualize a small little fuel efficient snowmobile and this is the result. It was engineered, as I said, by Edgar, but put together in the factory. Believe it or not, this has got a four-stroke engine. Think of the early days of, <laughs> of Arctic Cat and, and all of that. Yes, a Briggs and Stratton 10 horsepower motor. But let's talk now about the overall design of this machine. It has a smaller track, 13 and a half inches, rather than a bigger one. So it's, it's physically smaller than, than the machines of the day. The distance between the spindles or the skis and the track is longer. So you've got a larger wheelbase, so to speak, and more comfortable on the trail. Look at this, this seat, a camelback. I'm going to actually demonstrate here like, like a model, but it just feels absolutely comfortable. It, it just is intuitive. And, uh, and a nice, cute little machine to go tooling down the trails. Uh, very lightweight. Look at this. The gas tank is right here. Um, it is so minimalist that the, uh, that the uh, speedo drive is there. On this side, I'm looking at a chain case. It's, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's an aluminum. So what a, what a very unique design. Now, it didn't catch on, but that doesn't matter. The truth is, this is Edgar's response to the gas crisis in the snowmobile world as far as uh, as far as Articat was and uh, under the hood you can see a very basic uh, design uh, uh, electric start <laughs> and uh, so look at that Briggs and Stratton that's uh, that's a motor it looks like something I have in my uh, my uh, my snowblower but uh, but uh, very very nice execution this thing has style and uh, and pizzazz. I'm I'm just I'm just awed at uh, at the ingenuity that Edgar brought to the table. Now, if you're in the business, you're going to of course plan ahead. And like I said, the gas crisis was a tremendous challenge, if you will, to this uh, to this industry. And uh, and uh, this is uh, one answer to that. I mean, he thought of everything here. You know, in terms of grab handles in the back, that lovely, lovely seat. It is not a mini snowmobile. I would not by any means call this a mini snowmobile, but a, but a, but a, but a trail cruiser, you know, so to, so to speak. So very unique. I don't know if many people have heard about, uh, about this, let alone seen one in, in, uh, in, uh, in person. So I'm so happy to be able to demonstrate and show you, show you this, uh, this unique uh, little tiny piece of our, our snowmobile history.